My name is Joana Saira and this is a series of videos where I'm going to touch some aspects which I consider important in Egyptian dance. Most of what I share is a combination of actual knowledge and experience gathered on the field, on my years of career in Egypt, in the Middle East, and more recently around the world, but also my sensibility, my vision, my perspective. Everything we do as artists and teachers is, I think, a combination of these two things. The data we gather from our education, from our path, from our experiences, as well as our own character. What we see, what we make of the things that come to us in our personal and professional lives. So I'm going to start as Egyptian dance as a personal language. This is something that it's hard to grasp for most dancers. The fact that Egyptian dance has a lot to do with the person. It's not only how many movements you know, how much you've studied, how much data you gathered around you. It's about who you are as a person and what you put of your internal world in the dance that you make. I would say 50% of Egyptian dance is personal, the other 50% is knowledge, it's experience, it's practice, it's the work you do on the studio, it's the work you do by working itself, because the work itself is practice, it's experience. But those 50% that are personal are super important and I find that most dancers ignore them. Those 50% are left to chance and they shouldn't. If what you share in your dance is who you are, and in fact, it should be who you are. Then the question is, who are you? And what do you bring of yours to your dance? Who are you as a person? Who is the person behind the dancer? What kind of emotions, thoughts, memories, life experiences, energy do you use to feel each one of your movements. Because if you don't fill them with something, they are empty. I call them the exotic gymnastic. I don't think you want to do exotic gymnastic. I think you want to do dance if you call yourself a dancer or if you'd like to call yourself a dancer. So the question is, what is the material, the personal material that you're using to fill each one of your movements? Who are you inside? Are you taking care of your garden inside? Do you like yourself when you are by yourself? Do you like what you see? Do you like your thoughts? Do you feel good with your feelings? What's going on inside you? It's important to know and it's important to cultivate a beautiful garden because ultimately that's what will come out when you dance. It's not the data you gather from your teachers. Those are just tools. They are vehicles like a language that I'm using to communicate. But the question is, what are you communicating? What is there inside you that is worth communicating? And everybody has beautiful, beautiful things inside. And everybody has their darker, uh, more ignorant side. It depends on which one we are cultivating. What kind of garden we're cultivating? Is it the, the beautiful one? Is it the positive one, the constructive? Or is it the one that you're probably denying? Who are you? What do you bring of you to your dance? Think about it. Dance about it. Big kiss. See you all soon. And don't forget to cultivate your beautiful garden.